Late in the 60s, during a visit to Malden, I found my first five-string banjo in the basement of my grandpa's house. At the end of 2010, I moved back to this same house where my banjo career started. I didn't know grandpa very well, but I liked him. He inspired this playful song, Grandpa's. <laughs> Grandpa lived in a mighty old house, two pillars by the door, with a great big yard and a little bitty pond and a girl that lived next door. Now Grandpa stood tall and in his beard didn't cover his chin, had a look so stern he could stop a truck until he'd show that grin. Grandpa's house had a lot of things, he had a clock that stood in the wall, he had a quiz full of antiques, but the cellar was best of all. Nana did some canning, Grandpa did some too. While Nana canned the vegetables, the old man canned the brew. Now the old man put it in a cellar, it was back in a hole in a wall. We knew where to put it, sneak back to it, he would have a ball. With the girl next door, and my sister, and a boy named Marty. We'd slip to the cellar and open a bottle, and we would have a party. With the girl next door, and my sister, and Marty. We'd slip to the cellar, open a bottle, and we would have a party. Once I took a sip, wiped my lip, my eyes rolled back red. See, it didn't take much of Grandpa's hooch, and it would spin your head. He had a look so stern, he could stop a truck until he'd show that grin. Well, he had that bottle about half gone when Grandpa walked right in. Grandpa stood tall and mean, he smiled and he shook his chin. Sat right down and Grandpa joined right in With the girl next door and my sister and the boy named Marty We slipped to the cellar and opened a bottle and we would have a party With the girl next door and my sister and the boy named Marty We slipped to the cellar and opened a bottle and we would have a party Grandpa's house had a lot of things, he had a clock that stood the wall Shalom.